The movie trailers have one job and one job only. To get us fans like this. Lots of movies fail to do it, but some seem to conquer that task oh so well. So today I'm giving you my top 10 or 10 of my favorite movie trailers of all time. A couple of things before we go into this list. These are not going to be ordered or numbered. These are just going to be 10 movie trailers that I love and I still watch to this day. And these are trailers that really stuck out to me that I always get excited and chills about when watching them. Let me know your 10 favorite trailers of all time. And some of yours might not be on my list and that is 100% okay. That's the beauty of movie trailers. They create an event for a community like this. With that said, let's do this. So we couldn't make this list without including not one, but a couple MCU movies. And starting this list off on the highest note of possible, we have the first Infinity War trailer. This trailer did so much for us fans to get excited to finally see Thanos come into the picture, but it really didn't do anything to see where the movie was going to go, and that's what worked so well. It showed a movie that was going to be action-packed with stakes at an all-time high, and all of our beloved heroes and anti-heroes in there, and all of it got us all so excited. Nothing comes close to my excitement level for the Infinity War trailer. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. I watch this trailer back and forth to this day of Thanos talking in the background, everyone coming together, and the music that plays, my goodness, it gets you hype. If you watched my trailers video last week, you know this one is on the list, but the Suicide Squad trailer is absolutely fire. With the soundtrack that plays in the background, with how much action-packed the scene is going to be, the trailer really misled us to think that the movie is going to be great, because this is arguably the greatest trailer of all time. And when we got to the movie, it definitely was disappointing, but this trailer is absolutely fantastic. There is no denying that. We couldn't make this list without talking a little bit about Star Wars. And the Force Awakens trailer is one I watched on loop when it first came out. Every time it came on in the movie theater, I was always so excited. Especially with Harrison Ford saying, Chewie, we're home. And not only got me excited as a Star Wars fan, but got me excited as a movie fan that this event is coming back. That this crowd will be filled on the opening night with nerds like me getting there to watch Chewie and watch Han Solo come back in the Millennium Falcon. It got us all so excited that Star Wars is now back. It did exactly what a trailer was supposed to do. Show us a lot without showing too much. Godzilla King of the Monsters is arguably one of the coolest trailers of all time. Another one that's extremely misleading. One of my least favorite movies ever, but with one of the best trailers ever. This movie set up to be a monster killing awesome fest throughout the whole film. And it is one of the most boring movies I've ever seen in my life. And the action of the monsters, everything we saw in the trailers is what we got in the movies. They did a great job showing and getting butts in seats for this movie. But when you get your butt in that seat, you realize your money's been stolen from me because the movie's awful. This is one that's pouring out a lot on your list, but Little Women trailer is one of the most inspiring things I've ever seen in my life. One of my favorite films of 2019 actually is my favorite film of 2019. I've watched this movie probably six times since then. I've watched this trailer probably a thousand times since then. One of the best casts of all time. Greta Gerwig isn't a rising star as a director. She is that star as a director. And this trailer is so inspiring, especially with the music played. And that's what makes a good trailer, the music behind it. And this is a remake. We've seen it several times before. So what can they do? different and what can they do different with these characters showing all of our characters that kind of get their own little spotlight segment and you have a fantastic cast like this so when you see them in the trailer it gets you excited it gets you smiling and it gets your butt in that seat to see it on opening day one of the best days of my life was last year on dc fandom and when that batman trailer dropped i've never been more excited for anything in my life and this is my most anticipated movie for the rest of this year and all of next year i'm just gonna leave it with this because battinson says it all I'm vengeance. Piggybacking off the Batman, we're now going to The Dark Knight, which focuses primarily on the Joker. You get his laugh, you get lots of Heath Ledger in there, and he looks wicked, he looks evil. We get Bruce Wayne in there, we get lots of awesome things and scenes in there, and especially Hans Zimmer's score playing through the background. It's actually blaring through the speakers. Christopher Nolan knows how to get fans for excited. Whether he has a miss or a hit, majority of his movies are hits. You are so excited to see what Nolan will do next. And what really sold this is seeing Heath Ledger as the Joker. We're tonight's entertainment. Keep it on the DC train. The Joker trailer did something so crazy. It stirred up the media like no other trailer has before. There's warnings not to go to the theaters because of sketchy things going to possibly happen at those theaters. My family did not want me to see this on opening night. My opening theater crowd only had eight people in it. The trailer did a different type of marketing than anything. It got fans actually scared to go to the theater. I was nervous when watching this film. And when you go and watch this film, the trailer really sets you up for this dark, gritty, almost psychological thriller movie and it is outstanding and the 
trailer does so many things right, especially seeing Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker, who we've seen many times before. What can he do different? Who really is he? And what are we going to learn about Arthur Fleck? The trailer gets you sold and it sends you right into the film and you will not be disappointed by either. One of my favorite films of all time is The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and this is the perfect use of music in a film. They play the song It's Time from Imagine Dragons, and that music works so well through here. It is my favorite coming of age movie of all time. It is a top five favorite movie of all time for me. And this right here, if I had to pick, is my favorite movie trailer of all time, my number one spot. Everything about this just makes you feel happy, especially through the music in the background. And we get to see characters from Ezra Miller to Emma Watson to our leading man, Logan Lerman, even Paul Rudd in there. It has the emotional moments, it has funny moments. Overall, it really just brings you back to high school and really attaches those emotional levels in you. It makes you excited, it almost will make you cry, and that music will give you chills up and down your spine. Returning to the MCU to cap this list off, Civil War. When this trailer first came out, it not only got me excited, it got everyone in the world who's a fan of Marvel and fan of superheroes excited from seeing Tony and Cap go into it. And this trailer is really done well. And this is the best marketing I've seen for a movie because they are set up. You have to pick a side going into it. Because Spider-Man showing up at the end of the trailer, it sells you at an ultimate level. This is one of the biggest climatic movies in history. And this is one of the best trailers I've ever seen in my life. I wish I was doing YouTube at the time because that would have been so fun to make. Those are just 10 my favorite trailers of all time let me know what favorites you guys have and leave them down below in the comments section thank you guys so much for watching hit that thumbs up button for me hit that subscribe button for me i'll see you guys next time